You're weird. How so? Hey, what's going on? I'm Charlie. I am Gene. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasting. Yes. Cool day. Today. Cool bottle to review. We have ourselves a new Riff Rye single barrel barrel proof. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, a new Riff single barrel barrel proof. Dying. Right at you. Uh, so, this is a 95.5. This is 95% rye, 5% malted barley. This is, I believe, still MGP's recipe. Mm -hmm. um, and it comes to us at a mind blowing, eye gouging, uh, barrel proof of 51.75. Okay. So, 103, carry the 2.5 proof. Uh, distilled aged bottled by New Rift Distillery in Newport, Kentucky. So this is uh, their own juice then, very cool. Single barrel barrel proof. 95% rye, you say. Yeah, see I was thinking, I was mistaken, I was thinking this was MGP, but it says right on the bottle, New Rift. Cause I just said that out loud. Distilled, aged, and bottled all at New Rift. Okay. Cause they had MGP doing their stuff for a long while. Oh, all right then. Or Ross and Squibb, if you will. Well, I get that spearmint that rye spearmint right away Ooh. out of the rye. I get some dusty, yep. uh, earthy. Yep. Preach. Preach. Got some tree bark and dirt. <laughs> you said bark. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm too well trained of a husband. I apologize. <laughs> I got a little Charlie bark up in here. There you go. It's hard oh. to take them on walks, you know. Barks all the time. Yeah, just talk. Oh, I bark at other whiskeys though, so it's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, your spearmint's there, your mint's there. Um, dust. It's not a punchy in the face on the nose like I like I thought it was, or remember it being on the uncorking. Mm. Interesting. There's like a, a little bit of vanilla in here too. <sighs> there, now I'm getting some uh, almonds which I normally don't get on a rye. Hmm. Hmm, I'm having a go in. Have a go in. Just get some green grass. This reminds me of springtime. Mm. That is a punch you in the face on a palate. That's clove. That's fresh met from your garden. Hmm. A little bit of dill okay. now there on the mid palate. There is a little bit of dill. So my peppers are there, but they're mm -hmm. more of a, they're not there at the first sip. It's after it so soaks into my tongue. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, peppers, hello. This, yeah, this saturates mm -hmm. your palate. It's got a nice long finish. Kind of a, uh, like a, you, you're, you're used to your mouthwash in the morning. You got that minty taste in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's got that minty mm -hmm. finish. A nice finish too. Hmm. Mm. So, yeah, it's got that clove. It's got all the rye flavors. Mm -hmm. uh, sage, a little bit of thyme. Mm -hmm. mm. Yep. Yeah, so on the second sip, that's all there. All your kitchen spices, your baking spices are all there. Uh, sage, anise, clove, thyme. Ooh. That's good. Mm. I bet this was rocking in old fashioned. Mmm. Interesting. Mm. And that spearmint is there on the finish. Yeah, this is definitely a punchy in the face rye. Not on the not on the nose. Not on the nose. Not on the nose. That'll put you in the nose. I I don't want to be punched in the nose. Well, who wants to be punched in the nose? A boxer probably wants to be punched in the nose. Maybe. Boxer. I'm going to say boxer. You know, I've never been punched in the nose yet. Challenge accepted. Said yet. <laughs> I knew where that was going to go. <laughs> That's a knee slapper. <laughs> Did not change the nose for me. Maybe added a... i got a little bit of lime now. A little bit of lemon and lime. See, I was actually... No, I was gonna go. But there's a rind of some sort in there. There's a fruit rind in there now. It's lime. In case you can't figure it out, I'm telling you. Not good. I'm here to tell you what you like, what you taste, what you smell. That's just being a good wife. <laughs> Ooh. It, the lime is definitely there on the uh, palate now. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. Interesting. 
<laughs> score, score time, score time, score time. What am I doing for score time? Oh man, I'm stuck between a couple numbers. Uh, I hate being stuck between a couple numbers. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna do me. You, wife, can do yourself. I'm gonna do myself, and you do yourself, and I'm gonna do a fancy little numbers here. 89, what'd you do, Jean? I did an 87. Did you? Okay. I did. I did an 87. Rye's more your thing than it is my it is thing. true. Um, and this is a spicy four-year-old. Shoot, I didn't say how old it was. Four years old. Four spicy years old. four-year-old. Um, yeah, I like it. It's yeah. not, it doesn't cross over to 90. It needs, needs, needs something some. more. Needs some more. Some. Yep. Uh, I would like for it to be a little bit more savory, I guess. I don't know. Savory. Savory, savory. umami. Yeah. That's what I need. That's what I need. <laughs> you need umami? We'll call her after the show. I need you. my umami. Uh, what did you pay for? Uh, well, I paid for somebody it. did. Yep. Uh, $54. Yeah, I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, I think that's, that's probably about right. Yeah, I wouldn't pay too terribly much for it. But yeah, I don't have a problem with $54 for this. Yeah. If you like rice, this has all the rye on the palate. But this comes across more for me like a 45%. Um, oh, good call. Not so much as, she said 51? 51.75. Yeah. Um, Single barrel, mm. barrel pro. Eh. 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 I like it. If you like, uh, pretty fly. Yeah, pretty yeah, fly. Yeah, yeah. Good. I'm not saying it's bad. Yeah. 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 Anything to add you? Nothing else to I'm add. I'm Charlie. And I'm Jean. I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. We're thirsty. So thirsty. I thought you were going to break. <laughs>